him cheat it. When you need help, she's on your side. Better call Bacon. Thousands of dollars paid for new windows, and months later, absolutely nothing to show for it. Complaints are piling up against Solar Shield windows. Two Sarasota women are the latest to reach their limit on hearing excuses from the now defunct company, and that's when they knew they better call Bankin. Investigator Shannon Bankin joins me now, and this sounds really familiar to me. Jen, I have been down this road before with this company. The owners told me in September that they were closing the business, but that they had made arrangements to finish all of their jobs. But for many people, this just simply hasn't happened, and the owners haven't been able to refund one single dime to any of their customers. And actually, that room can be 10 degrees warmer than the rest of the house. So that's Agnes Stribling waited know, until retirement to finally replace her 50-year-old outdated windows. I'm sad. I'm frustrated. In June, she agreed to pay $15,000 to upgrade every room. She forked over half, $7,500, to Tarpon Springs Company Solar Shield windows. Then nothing happened. And the same scenario played out next door at Betty Jane Prince's house. So this is what I wanted. The women had no idea the company quietly closed its doors, leaving dozens of customers without windows they already paid thousands for. I didn't know a thing until I saw your story. It was September when I tracked down one of the owners, Jordan Richardson, and presented a pile of complaints that streamed into Better Call Bacon. He promised me every customer would get their windows. Do you now think that he lied to me? I think he did. You can imagine how much I like hearing that. So I went around town looking for answers. Richardson wasn't surprised to hear back from me. And neither was his partner, co-owner Douglas Andrasik. Well, I'm just going to ask you, did you guys collect money for windows and not order the windows? Six months after Agnes and Betty paid for their windows, these guys haven't bothered to order them. Jordan and Douglas have lots of excuses, HOA approval problems, measurement problems, but that doesn't explain one thing. If they paid you to order the windows, what did you do with the money? I was told the business account was overdrawn by $200,000 after upset customers canceled credit card payments. The two owners insist they are still working to make arrangements with other window companies, and all jobs will be finished. I hope that I don't have to call you back asking you in a few months why you haven't done this. The owners tell me they will personally call any customer who does not yet have their windows. So if you are in that boat, send me a Facebook message with your name and information, and I will be more than happy to pass that information along to those guys. Well, what about Betty and Agnes, who you actually talked to? And for this mm -hmm. story, I mean, are these owners going to take care of them? I asked them that, and I passed along all of their information, and they did call the ladies this afternoon and said that they will try to set something up with some of these other companies that they're working with. Mm -hmm. But as you can imagine, these ladies, they're worried to trust these guys with any more well, money. Well, they're out the money Absolutely, right now. Absolutely, they are. So they're hoping to work out some kind of deal where they have to pay the balance and not the full amount to another company. But they're looking for legitimate companies willing to step up and, and help out. My goodness. So. A follow-up on this one, for Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. We'll stay on it. Thank you, Shannon. And if you have a problem that needs solving, better call Bankin. The number is 1-855-BANKIN.